So Stefan, I feel that there's a lot of emphasis is done in terms of candidate experience. And once a candidate accepts an offer and becomes an employee experience inside the company, employee experience is not taking that much effort or it's not taking a lot of uh, consideration. And we have a lot of retention, people are leaving, people are not engaged. So what can employers do to make that candidate experience continue as they transfer to be an employee experience, as we talked about in the previous video, like the honeymoon phase, how can yes. they make it stay longer? Yeah, I mean, first of all, you really have to look at the entire employee life cycle mm -hmm. from, um, from the research, not just even from the application, but from, from the research even before you apply yeah. to position. You know, what, what's, the, what's the perception from potential candidates and from existing employees uh, on social media about the, about the company, for instance, yeah. so even just in the community at large. So you really have to look at the holistic approach of the entire employee life cycle from the uh, candidate experience to the employee, even to the alumni experience. Mm -hmm. Now, why should the relationship end once someone leaves a company? Yeah. Right? So, um, so th that's the first thing. The, the second thing is, and in order to builds that experience you need to actually to talk to the people and put yourself in their shoes yeah. so the the big mistake that many organizations that are not highly successful in designing uh, people experiences is the fact that they look at the in, entire cycle from their own perspective from an organizational perspective from an hr slash slash legal perspective yeah. But the experience of an employee is not linear, right? Um, it might be a bit more streamlined when it comes to the interview, pro the application and interview process, yes. because everybody goes pretty much for the same thing yeah. uh, for a specific organization. But once you're in, the experience can be very different based on your on your role, if you have responsibilities or not, uh, depending on the team you're on, yeah. depending on growth opportunities and so forth so you know you can't you cannot design the experience from an organizational standpoint you really have to do a lot of research you have to understand your employees drivers and motivations motivators yeah aspirations in mm -hmm. order to build different different paths available to yeah. them right mm -hmm. there may be some people coming in very very young in the organization and they may you know, see themselves as soon as they enter the organization, maybe working there for three years, right? So it's so like, how can we make the best of the limited time? Because we know that the time is going to be limited. Yeah. You know, it's rare now to see, you know, lifers in companies yeah. staying it's for it's 10, 15 years, years. Yes. right? Four years. So when, when you think of building the experience and the framework for the experience, as an organization and as a people leader, you have to think of how can we make the mm -hmm. best possible, or the best experience possible on both ends for the limited time that likely we will work together, yeah. right? So, um, so yeah, in terms of, you know, obviously there are the very basic expectations um, across the board from people that want flexibility, they want um, you know, to find purpose in what they do. Um, they want to be celebrated and recognized by their peers and by their bosses. They want growth opportunities. They want to learn new skills. Yeah. So those are important, just sort of like generic um, aspirations and motivations from employees. And then you just need to be able to build different paths yeah. based on, again, who those different employee groups are. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And each experience can be different from one person to another person. So that's why employers have to be very strategic in terms of what benefits they are offering. Maybe the same benefit cannot be applied to the same person and there have to be flexibility in that, right? Exactly, yes. And again, like from an organization standpoint, you want to build the framework, yeah. right? You cannot be as specific as possible. And within that framework, each individual has their own responsibility to shape their own experience yeah right so it's employees and not just consumers where they're going to consume the culture and the experience there are high 
contributors and designers of their own experience. Yeah. So it's, it's, again, it works on both ways. It's mm. the framework and then each individual as well as each leader within a team has a responsibility to design and shape that experience. Mm. Those are great tips, Stefan. Thank you for that. And again, for the audience watching of listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question for Stefan.